Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I spent the entire last video majority talking about my initiatives, specifically for the youth, of passionate about Jesus and superstars for Christ, impact on the church, and etc. And I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. To be more honest with you, at times, am I tempted to run away from what I do feel like my destiny and purpose is with these initiatives? Yes, at times I'm very tempted to run away with, you know, run away from them, not run away with them, run away from them, you know, and just live life like God knows what. You know, I'm very tempted at times to run away from I, what I do believe my purpose and destiny is with these initiatives. Sometimes I'm very tempted to just run away from them, you know, run, run away from the responsibility, just run away from it all and just pretend as if, you know, this and that is just, you know, what it, what, what it is and we can't heal. At times, I'm tempted to, very much. And one of the top reasons why I am tempted at times is because of family affairs, you know, family problems, family issues, and etc. Because a lot of people come from broke, broken homes, broken families. I call it fallen families. Broken homes and fallen families. I call it fallen families, and etc. You know, God bless everybody's household, everybody's home life. But I can assure you, that at times I am tempted to run away from my purpose and my destiny, you know, in these initiatives for Christ, with Christ, because of how poorly I've seen parts, you know, how poorly I've seen certain people, you know, operate, you know, with their supposed faith. And I'm thinking to myself, that's not of God. That's not of Christ. It's not of Jesus. God would not do that. You know, and I'm thinking to myself, if you're so sure about what your analysis is, why don't you get it fact checked? Why don't you get multiple opinions from multiple, you know, hopefully unbiased people? But as I said before, and I think I probably posted a video a while back, some people are willing and ready to just lie to themselves about anything and everything just so they can be perceived as perfect or just so they can be perceived as they know everything. But they truly do not. A lot of this stuff is very much two plus two common sense. It's not rocket science when it comes to the situations and scenarios that they are put in and they will put you in for you to understand with logical discernment that's not right, that's wrong, and you need to do better. A lot of people don't want to be held accountable to anything. They really don't want to be held accountable. When you try to help them be held accountable and live up to their faith, they want to look at you like you're the, like you're the crazy one. But I can assure you that through those outlet, outlets, through those life and times you could even say through those experiences i'm very tempted at times yes to run away from what i do believe my purpose and my destiny is with christ with those initiatives of like passionate about jesus and superstars for christ at times i'm very tempted to just run away from them and just consider all faith and religion a big hoax you know and something that crazy people just use to define how crazy they are at times i'm very tempted to because i see how disorderly parts of society and etc you know are you know and family layers and etc you know because of that stuff i'm at times very tempted to because i'm telling you imagine being born and raised in a conservative christian family and yet this is how they treat you here this is how they talk here this is how they do things here with other people and etc and you're thinking to yourself that's not right that's not right this is not right you try to call them out on it really whoever it is, but specifically within a family atmosphere, you call them out, next thing you know, you're the one being ridiculed as, no, you shouldn't call them out. You should let, just let them do whatever they want to do, and even though it's wrong, and etc. I understand everybody was totally raised a specific way, but I'm going to tell you this. When you're raised, at least from my opinion, when you're raised, when you're purely being raised through the true ways of Christ and the true ways of morals and integrity, you... At, at times, you're not, again, at times, you're not going to run away from certain questions. You're going to embrace certain questions, and you're going to want to, you you know, constructively, with peace and kindness, give people a piece of your mind towards explaining yourself, why you do what you do, and how this is where my integrity lies, and et cetera. Like, you're, like you're, like you're going to try to be as God honest and real with everybody as you possibly can. Not to say you're going to get it right every second of the time, but you're definitely going to make those efforts to continue to keep on learning, building, and growing in your faith with Christ and those re representing him first and yourself in the best picture you possibly can. That's going to, once again, be that living, breathing testimony that's going to help bring more people to Christ 
And again, you are thus for a fisherman of men and etc. And God knows I love people passionately with all my heart and soul. Again, I make songs for these kids passionately with all my heart and soul. The evidence is absolutely there. You can meet me in person. The evidence is there. See it on my YouTube. The evidence is there. See it on my Twitter, etc. My Snapchat. The evidence is there. NJ number two the city, by the way, for majority of everything, except for my YouTube. That's Brotherhood Nation Entertainment. But you can click, but you can type in NJ to the city, and it depends which way you type it in, by the way. And you can definitely find my find my channel or channels somewhere on, on YouTube. But specifically, ladies and gentlemen, you know, a lot of this stuff definitely has to do with, you know, I want to say pastorals, even though that might not even be a word. Uh, because I can assure you, whenever I hear about all these negative epidemics, wherever they are, the top thing, again, this is a part of I do believe my destiny with Christ, is when I hear about all these negative statistics, especially with murder and etc., I'm thinking to myself, God, I just want to go there and pastor people so bad. I want to go there and spread the freeing words and message of Christ, love, peace, prosperity, true wisdom, and belief in oneself, and etc. I want to just go there and pastor people whenever I hear about all these negative garbage statistics. That's what I want to do. Now, eventually, one of these days, especially when I start driving fully with my license, that's exactly what I'm going to end up doing. Because this, because if, if anything, we're all missionaries. Like one of the pr programs I listened to a couple years ago said, if anything, we're all missionaries. Again, you just you just have to pick up your your cross with it and own it to the best of your God first willing and able abilities. And if you were to ask me, you don't have to go out of the country to be a missionary. If you were to ask me, but let me go look up the definition of a, specifically of what a, a missionary is, because it might be in the definition of what a missionary is that yeah you you do have to go you know go to all these lands and do it. But let me look look it up. Um, but um, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, much love and respect to everybody. But I can just assure you, this is you know part of my destiny. This is part of what I do. This is part of what I believe in. And I just believe that um, everybody has the God first, willing and ready, able potential to do better. You just have to want to do better. You have to chase extraordinary. You have to try to be extraordinary. Do those things that are going to help make you extraordinary. If anything, like the biblical version of it says, do, do those things that are going to set you apart from the world. If anything, do those things that are going to set you apart from the world. Do those things that are gonna set you apart from you know you know from your from your old sinful ways into this new life with Jesus Christ. Again, the evidence is again there. Now, I think I've said it before in one of my somewhat sad and depressing videos I posted about probably a year or two ago, or really just this year. Um, that um, like I say, at times. You know, it's not to say, like I say, at times I'm tempted to just run away from all this of what I believe in with faith and Christianity. You know, faith in Jesus. At times I am tempted to just run away from it all. You know, and not because I'm not good at it, not because I don't authentically believe in it, I authentically even believe in it to my core. To my core, I authentically believe in it. But at times I'm tempted to run away from it because it's like you see the people around you and it's just like... You know, you see them te you see them preaching it themselves, but nobody's living up in the ways they should. Because, again, I don't think I've ever said this before, but a lot of people can and will lie to themselves about their mental health just so they can be perceived as normal. And I do believe that's one of the top problems that we have in today's generations. A lot of people are willing to lie to themselves left and right about their mental health just so they can be perceived as to the outside world as, yeah, I'm normal, and etc. Think about it. The evidence is there. You know, the evidence is there. Everybody in some, you know, we're all beautiful people. We all are. It just depends on how you're going to channel those talents, you know, and etc. And um, I'm looking at missionary right quick. And I'm just saying a lot, and because... One of the top things I don't, I don't know if I ever t told y'all this before, you know, but I definitely gave you my schooling past, my schooling history with Allen Denise High School and et cetera. I definitely have already gi given you that. If you didn't listen to that, go on my July 19th videos. My July 19th testimonial videos filmed this past summer. Go look at that. 
And specifically what I think God was saying, um, or at least what I'm about to say now, is that I've told myself numerous times that, you know, even though I've never been officially diagnosed with any mental dis disorder, yeah, I stutter at times. Even if, you know, um, I never have been diagnosed with any official mental disorders. But I told myself, because I got out of these high school under an IEP, ladies and gentlemen, under an IEP, I had very up and down test scores, and etc. And again, this past, I'm very open to with any and everybody, because this is a part of my testimony, and if I can help anybody, but especially the youth, overcome their battles and their struggles with, by sharing my testimonies and let, let them know there's, there's hope, there is a brighter day, a better tomorrow, and etc. Yeah, and, and my neck need, needed that. I'm going to do so. Because I love the kids and I want them to prosper to God's speed. I want them to Jesus above all over everything and succeed. That's the that's the what I ended the last the last video off on. So missionary, uh, a person sent by a church into an area to carry on evangelism or other activities as educational or hospital work. A person strongly in favor of a program sets of principles, etc., who attempts to persuade or convert others. And then three is a person who is sent on a mission. So, so yeah. And it's just the fact being, um, what I told myself was, if I didn't already say that like 30 seconds ago, if I could be, if, if me, if, if me getting myself tested in, 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 that, in that type of capacity, you know, I'm going to use whatever I'm diagnosed with as a strength. I'm going to use it as a testimony to help encourage other people to them, onto, again, to as well, get tested. And what that means is if I can help inspire a bunch of young people, people period, but specifically a bunch of young people who possibly do need to get tested but definitely don't want to because they are under that, that, that I want to say, hypnosis, that oh if i get tested i'm not normal anymore because a lot of people are under that that hip, hypnosis that if i get tested i'm no longer normal you know and etc or i'm no longer whatever else it is that they have told themselves or their or whoever else has told them if i can help inspire an entire generation of young people you know to if and i'm not trying to force diagnosis on anybody but this is just for the people who definitely you can again study them and they have they look like, they look like they're they're qualified for the test, you know. If I can help a ton of young people, you know, who look like they're qualified for the test by studies and etc. You're not for just forcing this. You're not forcing this on anybody. It's completely optional, you know. But if I can help inspire an entire generation of young people who you know, on studies show that you definitely should be tested for whatever disorder. And et cetera, you might have, or learning disability you might have. If I can help inspire them to to do that, I would love to, so they can again use it as their testimony as as well. Help other kids, you know, seek the help that they need. And again, through faith, this can all be, if you were to ask me, so revolutionized. This can be so revolutionized where you truly live in a world full of people who are so open-minded and they're so smart, they're so beautiful, and they're just so godly and etc. It's totally possible if you were to ask me. If I can help inspire an entire, gener entire generation of young people who, who qualify for it to get tested and whatever the diagnosis comes out with, they're going to use it as their testimony, as their triumph. They're going to help other kids who might be, you know, dealing with the same thing. They're going to bond. They're going to be, you know, beautiful friends. They're going to keep learning, building, and growing, you know, with this and with and, and their faith and et cetera. Like, it's, it's so blissful. It's so amazing. And I'm telling you, that's a part of what I feel like my purpose and my calling is in this entire spectrum, especially for the youth. Because a lot of kids, I do believe, they definitely need to be tested now, but they definitely will never be tested, at least not right now, because either they're in, they're just, you know, you, you could say they're under bad influences, you know, to, again, like, you know, I have to discuss it in the, in the next next video. But thank you all for listening, watching, and viewing, subscribing. It's me, your boy, the man, Inch to the City out. Again, judge me accordingly with your discernment through Jesus Christ salvation. Everything I just said, I love y'all for better and force for family. God bless America. God bless the world. God bless the Jesus Christ salvation youth. Super for Christ. You know what's up. Peace.